Have you ever heard of fish oil? A lot of people think it's a magic health booster, so much so that Americans spend a ton of money on it every year. But here's the catch. There's some chatter going on that fish oil might not be the hero we think it is. Some health experts are even saying it might do more harm than good. In this video, we're going to dive into the fishy world of fish oil. We'll find out if it's really the super supplement everyone claims it to be, or if we need to be a bit more careful before popping those pills. Now, why all the buzz about fish oil? It's packed with something called omega-3 fats. Our bodies really need these fats, but here's the thing. We can't make them ourselves, so we need to get them from our food. However, one big problem with the way most people eat is that we're getting too much of another kind of fat, called omega-6, and not enough omega-3s. Too much omega-6 can lead to health problems, especially with our hearts. On the other hand, omega-3 is like a superhero that fights against these problems. That's why so many people turn to fish oil, hoping it'll balance things out. Before we continue, please don't forget to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel to help us reach more people. And ring the notification bell so you can be the first to know when our latest video comes out. Most people think fish oil is the best source of omega-3 because it has two special types, DHA and EPA. Plants, on the other hand, give us a different omega-3 called ALA. Our bodies can't use ALA directly like DHA and EPA. Instead, it needs to change ALA into DHA and EPA first. We've heard a lot about the benefits of DHA and EPA, like helping our heart health. For a long time, many believed that our bodies aren't great at changing plant-based ALA into DHA and EPA. But Professor Brian Peskin, a world-renowned physiologic EFA expert, says otherwise. He believes our bodies can make all the DHA and EPA we need from plant-based omega-3s. He goes on to say that taking a lot of fish oil, which has high amounts of DHA and EPA, might be too much for our bodies. He calls it an overdose because the amounts are way more than what we actually need. Lastly, Peskin points out that we shouldn't call fish oil an essential fatty acid. This is because our bodies can make DHA and EPA on their own if we eat the right amounts of omega-3 and omega-6. Omega-3 and omega-6 are super important for our health. Professor Peskin calls them parent essential oils. Our bodies use these oils to make EPA and DHA, which are often talked about a lot. But here's where things get tricky. Getting fish oil out of fish isn't easy. The usual way of doing this uses heat and light, which can actually mess up the oil. Think of it this way. Some fish live in really cold waters, and they have a lot of DHA and EPA to help them stay unfrozen. This is like their natural antifreeze. Fish from warmer waters have way less of these oils. When we take the oil out of the cold water fish, the heat and light used in the process can make the oil go bad. Bad oil doesn't just lose its benefits, it can even be harmful. And to make things even more complicated, our body is naturally warm, about 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. So when we eat fish oil, it gets exposed to this heat, which might damage it even more. Considering fish from warm waters naturally have less DHA and EPA, it makes you wonder, how good and safe is fish oil when we take it? All this info makes us think twice about whether fish oil is as amazing as everyone says, and maybe, in some cases, it might not be so good for us. The Cochrane Institute, a globally recognized institution for its meticulous and high-standard medical reviews, made a rather startling revelation about fish oil. Their extensive evaluation of all fish oil research concluded, these things not only don't work, but they're also oxidative. Why? because of something called oxidation. Let's think of our cells like little engines. Oxidation is like rust that messes up those engines. Over time, if lots of our cells get rusty, we could end up with big health problems like cancer, Alzheimer's, or heart issues. A big part of our cells is made up of omega-3 and omega-6. They're like the building blocks of our cells. If we take in bad omega-3s, like from fish oil that's gone off, our cells' health can suffer. We also need a balance between omega-3 and omega-6, and too much fish oil might mess that up. Some health experts, like Dr. Daniel Pompa, believe most fish oil out there is not in good shape, or rancid, 
and can harm our cell balance. Nature usually gives us a mix of omega-6 and omega-3 in a 1 is to 1 ratio, but sometimes it can be as much as 1 is to 6. So if you're taking fish oil, it's important to mix in other fats to keep things balanced. For example, butter has something called arachidonic acid, and some studies say combining butter with fish oil might even make fish oil work better. Historically, cultures that ate a lot of fish also ate a variety of other fats. But just adding fish oil to the typical American diet might not be a good idea, especially since our diets already have a lot of unbalanced and possibly bad oils. Our cells have tiny power plants called mitochondria. The health of these power plants is tied to the balance of the fats we eat. Too much omega-3 can mess with how our cells produce energy, which can lead to bigger health problems. A 2013 study found that people who had a lot of omega-3 in their diets had a higher risk of certain types of prostate cancer. Moreover, a 2010 study published in the journal Cancer Research stated that mice that were given lots of fish oil ended up with serious colon cancer. While we can't compare mice directly to humans, it does make you wonder since there aren't many in-depth studies on how fish oil affects human heart health. People have been buzzing about fish oil as a miracle cure for heart problems. But recent studies show that it might not be the heart savior we hoped for. For example, a 2002 study published in Circulation, a top medical journal, looked into whether omega-3 from fish oil could help with heart artery health and stroke. The results? Not very encouraging. When people with heart artery problems took fish oil, it didn't really slow down the buildup in their arteries. A study published in the European Journal of Clinical Nutrition had even scarier results. Men with a type of chest pain called angina took three fish oil pills daily. Sadly, the risk of cardiac death was higher among those who took fish oil capsules than among those who didn't take the pills. However, there was no evidence that it was due to interactions with medication. Now let's talk about omega-6. Most people think it's bad because it can cause inflammation, but the real problem is when it gets old and spoils. Spoiled fish oil can harm our cells, just like the common oils in many Western foods. These oils often get exposed to lots of heat and light when they're made, which ruins the good stuff in them. But omega-6 isn't all bad. It has linoleic acid, which is super important for our health. In fact, it makes up a big part of our cell walls and even more in our mitochondria, the tiny energy factories inside our cells. Also, our cell walls play a major role in our health. They decide what goes in and out of our cells, making sure everything inside stays balanced. Here's the deal. Our cell walls are super important. If they're not working right, our cells could get too much of what they don't need or not enough of what they do. These walls also help control our hormones and can even manage how our genes work. One major player in our cell walls is linoleic acid, found in omega-6. We need to make sure we're getting good quality omega-6 to keep our cell walls strong. When we eat bad oils, it can mess things up. If linoleic acid goes bad, it doesn't help our cell walls like it should. But if our cell walls have the good stuff, they can get oxygen to our cells faster by up to 30%. Think about it. More oxygen means our cells can work harder and better. But here's the catch. If we take in too much bad oil or too much omega-3 from iffy fish oil sources, it can throw things off balance. This could end up hurting our heart health. Now let's think about fish oil from an environmental angle. Fish swim around in waters that can be full of nasty stuff like heavy metals and harmful chemicals. Sadly, a lot of these bad things like to hang out in fish fats, which means they end up in fish oil too. So when we take fish oil supplements, we might be getting more than just omega-3s. We might be swallowing a cocktail of these chemicals too. So should we just say no thanks to fish and the good stuff they give us? Not so fast. What we really need to do is go back to basics. Eating whole fish instead of just their oil means we get all the good nutrients nature packs into them. When we eat fish, we're getting a balanced package of goodness that can benefit our overall health. Let's look at this through the lens of basic nutrition wisdom. Whole foods usually pack a more balanced and diverse range of nutrients than just parts of them. So while fish oil has its advantages, 
eating the whole fish might be a smarter move because it offers a combination of nutrients that work together. Remember how some oils can turn bad when they're exposed to things like heat and light? That's because certain fats are sensitive and can easily go off, turning them from good for you to not so great. So, if you're keen on getting those fishy benefits, think about adding smaller fish like sardines and mackerel to your diet. These tiny swimmers tend to have fewer bad chemicals compared to the big guys. Plus, if you can get wild-caught fish instead of those from farms, even better. They usually have better nutrients and fewer harmful stuff. If you're still sold on fish oil supplements, keep a few things in mind. Don't use them forever. Mix up your fats to keep things balanced and pick high-quality fresh supplements. And remember, always go for the ones in dark bottles to keep the good stuff from going bad. At the end of the day, it's all about balance and sticking to foods that are as close to nature as possible. So whether you opt for whole fish or high-quality supplements, striking a balance is the key. What are your thoughts on this topic? Have you had experiences with fish oil supplements or prefer to get your omega-3s directly from fish? Share your insights and stories in the comments below. And if you found this information valuable, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to click that notification bell so you never miss an update. If you'd like to support us further, consider sending a super thanks. Every bit helps us bring more content like this to you. Until next time, stay informed and healthy.